cataractcoach.com. Explant the light adjustable lens and replace it with a trifocal. So this patient was not happy with the outcome of the light adjustable lens. Now, one of our challenges in any patient is setting appropriate expectations and making sure that the technology that we're going to give the patient is going to meet those expectations. So here we have a patient who got this monofocal lens and just for whatever reason is not happy. Now you can see viscoelastic is being used here to do some visco dissection and your goal is to free up this lens from the capsule bag. Now the challenge of course is going to be the haptics and the capsule fusion. So what ends up happening is of course the anterior and posterior leaflets of the capsule get fused. So here the surgeon is using a couple of hooks to del deliver the haptics outside of the capsule. Now the optic is silicone and it's not going to stick to the capsule. So that should be relatively easy to explant. So bringing the whole lens up. Now fortunately this patient has not had a YAG laser capsulotomy yet. And as a result the posterior capsule is still intact. Now once you get this lens up, getting a silicon lens out of the eye has its own challenges. I like the technique here of pulling one haptic outside the eye. And you can see, wow, it already just uh, rotated the other direction. So not a very strong hold there at the haptic-optic junction. So a silicon lens like this, I agree, I'd like to cut it in half. Now, it's a slippery lens, especially with the anterior chamber full of viscoelastic. The IOL optic that's made of silicone is going to be slippery. So what you want to do is exactly this beautiful technique here, using the chopper in one hand to help stabilize the optic while you place the scissors inside the eye here. Now these are eyewall cutting scissors. Be careful not to touch the posterior capsule. And you can see there's the lens bisected very nicely in the anterior chamber. And at this point, you can bring these pieces outside the eye. You can um, bring each half out, make sure you get the complete half, including both haptics, out of the eye. Now let's talk about why wasn't the patient happy. Well, you know, it all comes down to, again, expectations. And this is a monofocal lens, and some patients really want that near vision. The best way to achieve that oftentimes is by using a trifocal lens. So you can see explaining the lens now, both haptics coming out, both optics, halves coming out as well, nice and clean looking, ready to put the new lens in. Let me tell you about cataractcoach.com, the teaching website. Please check it out. So much great material there. If you're looking for a solution to a tough, tough case, it's better than YouTube. It has a great search engine. Plus, hey, follow me on social media. There's my Instagram. You'll like it. Here comes the new lens going inside the eye. Now, this is a trifocal single-piece acrylic lens. Of course, this trifocal lens that has a diffractive optics is going to definitely give you that near vision. And so as a result, the patient's going to be happy with that. But I hope you told the patient that the patient may experience decreased contrast. You know, at the end of the day, we have to think of the simple physics the number of photons entering the light is fixed. If you're outside walking in the moonlight, the number of photons is fixed. If you're in a restaurant that's dimly lit, there are going to be a limited number of photons there. Yes, you can increase the number of photons by turning your phone light on to help you read the menu. But if you get these photons that enter the eye and put them all at one focal point, like with a monofocal lens, that'll be, of course, less range but higher quality vision. And then this patient with now a trifocal in the eye is going to have those same photons split among a wider range. But again, the quality of vision may not be quite as good. So again, it's all set in appropriate patient expectations. I think it's good to have as many tools as we can in our toolbox. I like to have more Iowa options, not less. And therefore, we can try to aim and tailor this to the patient's desires. And again, even then, we've got to learn from our plastic surgery friends. Our plastic surgeons see a patient who's 72, and they tell the patient, hey, I can make you look better, but you're not going to look like you're 22 again. That's just no way. Not going to happen. So we need to do the same. When the patient comes in who's 72 years old, say, yes, I can make you see better than you do now, but there's no way of me returning you to the amazing vision you had when you were 22 years old again, right? With many doctors of accommodation and incredible image quality, that's just not going to happen. Anyway, thanks for watching. Remember, check out the website, cataractcoach.com, and subscribe to that daily email, and check out my Insta.